613 all new this morning, a special one on one interview with Maryland Governor Westmore. Part two of my interview with him. We discuss abortion rights and the economy. Governor, you are announcing a reproductive health care package that will include a constitutional amendment to protect reproductive rights yeah. in the state of Maryland. What can you tell us about that? I know you don't want to get ahead of the announcement that will be made on Thursday morning, yeah. but uh, could you give us a taste? Yeah, I mean, it really I think it, it reinforces two things. Uh, that you know that I always wanted to bring into our administration from the campaign. One is there are no surprises in terms of the things that we're going to push for and fight for because these are things I've been talking about for a while. And the second thing is if I said it, I meant it. And so when I said that Maryland is going to be a safe haven for reproductive rights, I meant that. And so that means working in partnership with the legislature where I and, and, and my office is very much going to be for uh, and will push for a constitutional amendment. And I'm thankful that the Speaker of the House introduced this, uh, that, we, that we believe in this and we believe it's the right thing. and It's a smart thing for the state of Maryland. But then also, if you look at how on day one, I, I released three and a half million dollars of, of recently withheld funds mm -hmm. that came from the prior administration to be able to train abortion providers. We have to, you know, I, I believe that abortion is health care. And so we have to make sure we have policies that are actually reinforcing that belief. Well, you have been consistent in the fact that you fundamentally believe that Republicans should be at the table as you guys are trying to come up with these proposals. Were Absolutely. Republicans included in this proposal that we will hear on Thursday? Well, I, I would I would hope so. Uh, you know, so I, is that a no? <laughs> I, I think we, we are going to make sure that all the policies that we're pushing forward, uh, that we want Republican partners uh, in this conversation. Uh, in your State of the State address, you touched on several economic policies, minimum wage indexing, cash payments for working poor, expanded tax credits for veterans. How do you think these proposals are, are going to have a benefit for both low income and middle class families? Uh, this is about competitiveness. It's about how do we make our state more competitive? And we cannot be a competitive state if we have a consistent and generational underclass. It doesn't work. And I don't say that because this is work that I've been doing for all of my adult life. Mm -hmm. I say it because I'm really good at math. And this is just mathematics. And if you look at the impact that the earned income tax credit, uh, the enhanced earned income tax credit, and what could happen if we actually make permanent adjustment to the child tax credit, we now know, and we've been updated to show, that this is one of the most effective tools that we have at our disposal to be able to end this scourge of child poverty. I want to get to this viewer question from Dr. Jason Cottrell. He asked this, will you consider passing legislation overturning the prohibition of alcohol sales at grocery stores and create uniform standards? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's something that we're, we're already uh, speaking with local jurisdictions uh, about. You know, so much, of, so much of what's happening, it's, it's local jurisdictions mm -hmm. because you have different, different, uh, uh, different uh, counties and jurisdictions within well, the state. Well, people often complain that it's confusing and it's and inconsistent. That's a challenge. Yeah, and it's a problem. And, and, and that's a challenge. And so that's the thing we're actually working with local jurisdictions on, knowing that there is a certain amount of influence that the governor can, has, but can have on this issue. But so much of this is local jurisdictions, so we have to be able to work in partnership with them to be able to address this issue. All right, the governor and I also touched on his commitment and belief in public service and the high state job vacancy rate. You can watch that full, full interview. It's streaming right now on Get Up DC or on our streaming app. That's WSA 9 Plus. You'll see it after Get Up DC at 7 a.m. And it's also available to watch on demand along with this newscast 24 7.